Cheers, muses. I'm Erica Papillon Posey, and welcome to another episode of Suits Souls by EPP, where I hope that you can find inspiration from a semi retired jazz and opera singer bringing to you some of the articles from my boudoir that didn't make it to the stage. I am hoping to use this platform as a stage in lieu of my performance career that is quickly winding down by the end of 2023. So again, thank you so very much for joining me. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for notifications on all new episodes. I've got some treats for you today. I hope you like them. Uh, let's see, we had a little mini shoot today, another mini shoot today. This channel will consist largely of shoots that I'm doing for myself. Again, I've traveled the world, had the blessed, blessed, blessed fortune of being able to travel the world as uh, an opera and jazz singer. And um, yeah, I've been able to collect some beauties from around the world. Um, I was one of the original Zara shoppers from Europe before it ever even came to the United States. And I have some um, pieces that uh, were made beautifully from Zara uh, before it came to the United States that I still have to this day. Don't plan on getting rid of them. And this um, episode will be a lot of Zara um, um, items. But uh, yeah, they're not in stores right now because um, I have a tendency to buy things and hold on to them until I'm ready to wear them. So everything that you see here today is not going to be available with the exception of one suit. And we'll get to that. And you got to stay till the end because I'm going to pop some pictures and video up at the end of this video to um, present some of those articles and items to you that I hope you'll love. I hope you'll love. So let's get started, shall we? Um, the first suit that I did today, which again is not from Zara, I did this Banana Republic factory suit. Look at that. It's a double breasted with the gold buttons on it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I don't have a tendency to buy things that are not fully lined, which really can have um, uh, give you an idea of how well made it is and how much love was put into the article of clothing when it was being made. Um, I find things that are not lined cheap. Yeah, and uh, harkens to fast fashion, which I'm not into. But this blazer suit, double-breasted suit set is from Banana Republic Factory, which is currently in stores. Remember I told you in my introductory video, I'm a Banana Republic Factory girl. And um, to me, their clothing is a perfect blend of sexiness, maturity, experience, um, still has some trend elements to it so it stays modern and fresh um but yeah speaks to the sophisticated worldly modern woman yeah still timeless classic prim articles of clothing everything about my aesthetic so i really do think banana republic um is fantastic at speaking to my uh style aesthetic so i'll link uh the description uh, in the description below for this particular suit that is currently available at Banana Republic Factory. The matching wide leg bell bottom pants to it, and these are really bell. Uh, bell bottoms are really in right now, but bell bottoms, you know, from the 60s, the 70s, have always been a thing. Everything is cyclical, everything comes back around at some point. Absolutely, always does. And these trousers, uh, this entire suit actually is um, a wool blend, but just really hefty weighted material that will stand the test of time in your closet. A keeper, it's not something, this suit is not something that you will need to get rid of. 
it will be in your closet for some time to come. So I'm super excited to model this for you and show you what it looks like on. What did I put over this suit? Baby, let me tell you, let me tell you. This is a Zara coat from about seven, eight years ago. You know, it's the Teddy coat. Very, very thick quality. Look at this. And I put this brooch on here that I purchased from um, someplace in Rome. Oh, I just dropped it. That I purchased from someplace in Rome. I don't remember where, but I can find the store. Uh, it was a boutique store and see if there is a, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? is a um, website so that you all can purchase it. They have so many different kinds of brooches and pens, you know, to really accentu accentuate and add that extra special something to your um, uh, articles of clothing. This Zara coat, again, is from, I think, six or seven years ago. Beautifully made. As you can see, it's a chocolate brown which is to me difficult to find. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful teddy coat from Zara. Yes. Oh, I just love it. Fantastic, right? So yes, I put that on over it so that we had a really old school back in the day, as my daughter would say, uh, back in the day look uh almost harkens back to the zoot suit period you know like in the 40s and what have you you'll see you'll see what i'm talking about when i try it on for you um i also wore it with these beautiful soros glasses from amazon are these hot or what are these hot or what look at these these are amazing again i'll link them in the description below because these are hot and really, really inexpensive, yeah? And well-made, you should see the quality of these, look. Beautiful. They come in a variety of shades and colors. Um, the tint of the lens as well as the rim of the glasses, many options for incredible, incredible, incredible prices. Um, well, let's see, ah. Another Zara article, another Zara item for you. These are everywhere now, but I think that um, Zara was the first place that I saw this actual print, this actual design of clutch, this gold. It's like an antique burnt gold clutch. Beautiful. You can find these in many, many different places. Now, I actually purchased this one about, again, five, six years ago, again, at Zara. It also comes with the um, crossbody or shoulder chain so that you can wear it as, as either. Um, so yes, wonderful, wonderful buy. Now, the Banana Republic jacket that I showed you a minute ago, I actually also paired with this beautiful olive colored satin skirt. I got this skirt at Marshall's for $13. That's right, $13. Oh, don't you just love a good sale? Don't you just love a good sale? Yes, it was on sale, um, $13. I told you in my last video, this will be a common theme for me. I do not believe that um, women have to spend a lot of money, uh, break the bank to look quality and fabulous and timeless and sexy. Um, yeah, it's just classic. I don't think you have to spend a lot of money to look like that. Um, you just gotta know where to look, when to look and be patient, you know? Never be in a rush for anything. Remember I said in my last video, They'll find you. Those items will find you. You don't, if they're meant to be, they will be. I also paired that skirt and that blazer with these, oh, green Zara knee-high boots. 
I can't wait till you see these on. Oh my God, these are amazing. Again, well made. Um, it's a lambskin leather. I purchased these about eight years ago in Florence, Firenze, in the Zara there. And again, oh my God, they're so, they're like butter, baby. They're butter. Amazing. Right? Can't wait till you see them on with that skirt. And the colors just complement each other so beautifully with the double-breasted uh, Banana Republic Factory uh, blazer. Can't wait till you see it. Can't wait till you see it. I did the glasses again with that outfit just for effect and for drama. You know, the spectacle of it all. I love elevated dressing. I really do. I love nostalgia. And um, as a jazz and opera singer, which are really both niche genres of music, um, I love and miss the periods of time where people dressed to dress, um, where it was commonplace to dress well and to dress high and to dress, um, to dress for yourself, to dress beautifully for yourself, to feel good. These days, we don't put too much care into our day-to-day -day, uh, way of dress. Everything is very, very laid back and casual. And I just love that period of time that harkened back to natural glamor and sophistication. Um, and it meant something, how you carried yourself. And uh, not just on the outside, on the aesthetic, but I'm really into, have always been into health and fitness as I am also a former bodybuilding and fitness competitor. So health and fitness have always been staples in my life, always. So let's keep it moving. The last ensemble, ensemble, that I have for you today, I'm actually wearing and it is also a Zara ensemble that I purchased, I think maybe two cycles ago, two or three cycles ago, seasons ago, cycles, seasons ago. And um, yes, chop, again, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate brown. I also paired this ensemble with the coat that I showed you, the chocolate colored teddy coat that I showed you. And I paired it with these uh, Michael Kors City Sandals. Mm -hmm. Michael Kors City Sandals that I've had for about 10 years now. Got on clearance for a steel, well-made, beautifully constructed platform city sandal from Michael Kors. I paired it with this Hobo International clutch as well. Can you see that? Oh my God. Isn't this beautiful? I wish you could feel the leather. Just stunning, stunning, stunning bag that I've had for about 10 years along with these sandals. And um, also these glasses. Now you probably can't tell from the screen, but the lens on these are also a beautiful chocolate brown. Baby, let me tell you, I'm really feeling the chocolate brown for the season. Just elegant, just really stylish glasses, well-constructed. Um, again, these come in various shades and colors. Uh, again, from Amazon, I will link them in the description below. But I can't wait. For you to see everything modeled um, as I did today in my shoot. But thank you so very much for joining me for another episode of Suits Souls by EPP. And before you leave me, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for notifications on all new episodes. Until then, a bientôt muses. Ciao!